You know how things in the music industry always often seem so far away from your real sort of experience and your real life. Well, I think um, this is talking about what you can do now rather than what you might do if you meet a bloke who knows a girl who knows who works for Orange, who then, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know. So I think this is very real and uh, I'm very glad to be a part of it. My dash for a last minute flight. You packed your bags and you left your home. There's a lot of people here who aren't at the top level of uh, the music industry. Um, but that's kind of where the action is at the moment. I think the independent sector, and it's not just sort of uh, independent record labels, but independent artists and independent you know, publishing and, and, and so on. It's, it's kind of really an interesting place to be. I think it was just a, a it's thing about getting everybody to talk about what's going on at the minute with the with the music scene, isn't it really? Uh, welcome to the convention 2008 at Sacred Trinity. Music has value, there's no question about that. The supply chain between the creator and the consumer is broken. I don't even think downloads or people Ill illegally downloading has had anything to do with it. I think it's major labels selling album CDs by new bands at say $5.99 or $4.99, which isn't a viable business uh, and model. And things. The shifts that are happening at the moment in the industry are not about file sharing, it's not about necessarily the internet, it's about an entire shift of business models. So don't think of it too much about technology, but think of it in the, in the way you do business is fundamentally changed forever and it will never come back. Uh, you're not giving away your music, you're giving away recordings of your music. Those are two totally different things. You know, there's no other message that, that you get from this whole thing today. I wish that you would take that away with you. Consumers want music for free. This is, this is popular culture and you cannot fight popular culture. Kids don't have any concept of buying music. I don't know anybody who listens to less music today than they just buy music. the idea that people get together and trade ideas because most people, especially working in smaller venues, for smaller labels and in smaller enterprises, they work to the hills. And some of those people have got day jobs doing something completely different. And what they're doing running labels and putting on shows is something that happens in the evening. So these people are tired and overworked, so they never get the chance to, uh, uh, to talk to the people. But who said that that was the price for a download? You know, who, who set that as the price? And I think there's there's a lot of, you know, the, the, the market hasn't been able to, hasn't been allowed to find its own value. At the moment, anyone can make music, anyone can put it out there. It's a case of keeping one step ahead. It's far better now. And bands are smarter now as well. Bands, bands, the bands you speak to who are, who are really young, where back in the day would have known next to nothing. The, the label label is misleading. It's, it, it, what it needs is people to represent artists and work with artists and take them to you know, an audience. Do you think that there's more that independent labels should be doing to share best practices with each other? I think you guys are in a really amazing place right now to be able to kind of define how this new thing is going to work. Because for those of you in this room here today, you'd be surprised how many of you could probably help each other out one way or another. Music is still local. It's, it's, it's not changed in any way. Maybe we need to and it's the language of free and how we apply that to the music industry is going to be the the path through I guess these rocky shoals at the moment you've been inspired it's the kind of things I want to happen in my, in my town. I want music conferences, I want festivals, I want bars to open, I want, I want theatres to open, I want more bands to play. I want it to be more like the cities in other countries that are, have explosions of culture. You know, I don't want Manchester to be one of these cities that beats its chest and then nothing actually really happens. So things, you know, things like this. Hats off to anybody who puts anything on. It's kind of like a... Um 
it's almost like a nervous excitement, if you like. It's like everybody here feels like they're at the beginning of something, or they're, they're kind of the cusp of the chain. It's really important that the grassroots of the industry are looked at. Anything that gets people together, um, independence together, who gets people involved in creative industries together, it's got to be a good thing. People can collaborate, people can get ideas off each other. The thing that makes the independent industry so great is that people are happy to work and share ideas to help each other develop and grow. That was magnificent, and also very auspicious uh, surroundings. It's nice to do it in something that isn't a community centre, you know? What a great place. It was exciting because it seemed fresh, it seemed enthusiastic, it seemed like we were going to meet people here I wouldn't meet at ordinary music events around the, the country. It's all about communication and getting out there and doing stuff. It would be nice if they happened more often, you know? I think it's also good for people who want to get started in the industry. I thought the live time was absolutely amazing. Very, it's, I go to a lot of these all the way around the world. Yeah. It's about the audience, it wasn't about the panellists and that's really important. I think it's kind of one of the things that came up was about networks and if, it, if it's a way of sort of focusing people to discuss things with each other um, and you know generate their own groups of people that, are, that can uh, facilitate new things happening. I think that's the single most important thing that can come out of stuff like this. I hope they will, they will go away enthused and um, full of sort of an energy about wanting to get more involved. I think if given time, the punk convention can definitely make a difference. Um, I think it's a bold thing to do and uh, an interesting thing to do, definitely. What it has achieved is just getting people together and talking. And lots of talking about independent labels, how they can make more money, how they can like, advance, how they can get more exposure in the media. It's been an eye-opener for them, I hope. What's going on around convention is people are trying to build a new industry. The traditional industry is in complete disarray and is probably decomposing under, under its own weight at the moment. So, and that creates a lot of opportunity for the smaller artists and the smaller, smaller companies. There's no kind of natural necessity that the music industry be the way that it's been for the last 50 years. It wasn't always like that. It's not always going to be like that. And actually the people are saying, well, look, you have to behave yourselves in a certain way so that we can run our businesses like we've always done. Uh, it can go to hell, actually. Like somebody once told me, it's amazing what you can achieve when you don't know what you can't do. This is very, very important for, for, for UK music industry.